Some time ago, I made a video called Bold Genshin Impact Predictions. Well, it turns out there's way more ideas for the game that I would consider to be very bold. Whether it be coming from fans, streamers, the voice actors, and even myself, we all want to see some of these ideas come to life. I'm Hermit Grab, and these are more Bold Genshin Impact Predictions. First off would be some kind of Honkai collab. I know that Genshin and Honkai Impact collabed before, but that was purely on the Honkai Impact side of things, especially since Fischl and Kuching became playable characters in Honkai Impact while Genshin got nothing in return. So we could potentially see Honkai returning the favor with either a playable character or a skin based on the character from the Big Sister game. Another idea is to bring the younger sister game, Honkai Star Rail, and get some characters from the game to be playable in Genshin. I mean, there's lots of contenders for that spot like Don Hung, Blade, Jing Liu, Yanqing, and even Kafka. Putting these characters into Genshin would be really interesting since they do fit the element and weapon style, and some of these characters share a voice actor in Genshin already. Either way, a Honkai Impact or a Honkai Star Rail collab is possible if Hoyaverse wants it to happen, but I hope they do since the negotiations will be internal and much more likely than outside collaborations. Next up is a heel turn. For those who don't know, a heel turn means that a hero becomes a villain. A face turn is the opposite of that with a villain becoming a hero. And throughout Genshin, we've seen numerous face turns throughout the game, like Raiden Shogun, Scaramouche, and even Child numerous times. But a heel turn would be really interesting since it would factor the narrative the writers want to tell. And no, I'm not going to count brainwashing or hypnosis. I'm only going to count a character choosing to turn against their friends or bring their friends to the dark side. Potential series could include Noelle turning against Jean because she is more deserving of being a Knight of Favonius than current members in the Knights or Kaya since it's been heavily hinted and speculations that he likes Kanria a lot more than Mondstadt and would settle in a climactic battle with brother versus brother against Dilu. Or even Paimon with the numerous theories and stories that come with that. A heel turn could be an added twist in Genshin storytelling, especially when everything is all said and done and there would be more stories to tell. Next up is all of the Archons meeting. This could be either all the current Archons meeting, which means from Mondstadt to Fontaine as of right now, or it can be all of the Archons meeting from the start of the game to the end of the game. But all the Archons meeting would be a blast to watch since we barely get to see them all in one place. And no, I'm not counting the Lantern Rite animation since it wasn't from the game. I would absolutely love to see the antics of the Archons like Zhongli and Venti struggling on who pays the bill, Farina and A battling over the last slice of cake, and Nahida trying to manage all of these egos. But all the Archons meeting would make every single Genshin fan enjoy that moment and all the crazy stuff that comes with that. Double points if they all share an event, and triple points if it's in the Golden Apple Archipelago. Up next is an inter-region war. This one is a crazy idea, but it might happen in the future as the story unfolds, especially if we get to the later portions of Natlan, Shneznaya, and even Kanria. Genshin storylines usually have the region stay on their region as the story takes place there, and that's okay because that's the norm, that's the usual. But if we went to an inter-region war between Natlan and Sumeru or Shneznaya and Mondstadt or even Fontaine and Inazuma for whatever reason would be very interesting. Especially if the war is done with deceiving both sides or an actual genuine war between the two nations for whatever reason. I know it could break the hearts of some fans to see some of their favorite characters kill each other, but I think these dream encounters could create some fan hype moments. Like maybe Skara meets Raiden Shogun all over again, or a clash between Beido and Dia, or even a battle between Zhongli and Nouvellet if the story ever gets to that point. But an inter-region war would be an insane storyline that could go for numerous versions, and interactions between characters would be absolutely crazy. And finally is a new weapon type. A new weapon type would be an addition that would honestly make Genshin much more complicated 
and weapon pools, characters, and battle passes more difficult to get by. But in terms of a character's in-universe fighting style, I think a new weapon would be a cool idea. I mean, you already have characters who don't use their weapons nowadays like Kirara using her claws, Linny using his cards, and Navia using her gunbrella. But I think a new weapon that would fit in the world of Genshin would be daggers or knives. You already see characters like Rosaria, Tartaglia, and even Kuki Shinobu that already use daggers in-universe. I'm not saying we completely change these characters' weapon style, but I'm saying that we already have characters that use daggers in the game. I figured since other games like Genshin's style and setting, like Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy, they use knives and daggers. But if Genshin doesn't want to include it, I wouldn't be disappointed since it may further complicate things in the game. But if they do add it, it would definitely change the way that we play the game for a very long time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. Comment down below what are your boldest predictions for Genshin Impact. Remember, the bolder, the better. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'm HermitGrab, and I'll see you soon.